Hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check how we can export database values to PDF file using Spring Boot app. So for this, I am using my blog. So blog link is provided into video description. So there is an often requirement that we need to export data from our web application or microservices to external document in the different format like CSV, PDF. So uh, here in this example, we are demonstrating the scenario where users use the REST call from browsers in order to generate the PDF document, like application will retrieve the requested information in, from the database and generate the PDF document in which we can able to download the PDF file. So in this example, we are using a open PDF uh, API that is provided by LibrePDF. That is an open source uh, Java library used for creating and modifying PDF files into Java. Here we are creating Spring Boot application with the use of Spring Data JPA and Hibernate for the data access layer and MySQL as a database. So let's start creating project. So go to Spring Tool Suite. So we, here we are using IDE as a Spring Tool Suite and create the simple microservice here. So this is the Spring Tool Suite. Just select this option create new spring starter project so it's type as a maven then packaging jar java version 8 language java okay so here we need the two libraries spring web and then we need the jpa library also so that is a spring data jpa so next finish so now let's start uh, adding dependencies so we need uh, two dependencies here uh, one is like a mysql connector for java and one is like uh, this uh, open pdf library that we mentioned earlier okay so copy this go to pom.xml file okay so here add this dependency here okay so now we need uh, to connect uh, mysql database so for as the auto configuration so we need to add this uh, properties into our application dot properties so this is just database connection related properties so go to application dot properties in the src main resources and paste it here so what is this so this is the like a uh, spring data source url for which we are connecting from to the mysql username password and driver class name save it so now start creating the entity class so we will create this entity so copy this employee so give name as a model employee finish so copy this content okay so paste it here let's say control shift o in order to import the packages so here we need to select this java x persistence entity then this table and id uh, we need to add some uh, constructors and get setters so first we will add default constructor so right click here and uh, go to source and say constructor using fields okay then deselect all and generate so this is the default constructor then uh, we need to add a parameterized constructor so go to source again go to constructor with fields select all and say generate so this is a parameterized constructor then we need to add getters and setters so go here generate getters and setters select all generate okay so our model is ready so instead of uh, doing this uh, lengthy process so you can add the lombok library also and uh, you can define all annotations instead of like uh, de defining this constructor and generate getter setters okay so uh, here in this model class so we are defining at the right entity and we are defining at the right table so it it should create or it should fetch data from this table emp underscore data set table from the mysql and then uh, this is the underscore id that is a primary key and uh, it will generate the uh, primary key automatically so we, we need to provide this generated value annotations and these are some columns so add the red column to be specific to matching with the database column name okay so if you want to map this database column so we have already created uh, this table okay so next is uh, we need to create this uh, user repository 
So this is the interface uh, in order to provide the mechanism for storage, retrieval, search, update, delete operations of the object. So it basically it provides the crude operations. Okay. So create this interface. Type package name as a repository. Let's say control shift O in order to import the packages. Save it. So now moving further, so we need to define the controller and uh, we need to add some REST calls. So create the controller package. First, let's say control shift O in order to import the packages. So here we need Spring Framework HTTP headers, then Spring Framework media type, then Java dot list. Okay, so what we are doing here? So we are just uh, annotating this as a at the rate controller. Then we are uh, auto wiring this employee repository in order to fetch data from that uh, database. So in the gate mapping, so we are adding this. Uh, just we are adding this endpoint name and application media type as a pdf value okay so here as in employee report so we are fetching data from database that is a crude operations of uh, uh, like a spring boot mysql or database or jpa this is a crude operation of uh, jpa so it is a fetching data into this object employee object so whatever data we received into in the result set employees so that data we are lo loading via byte array input stream okay and uh, here we are implementing this into service layer so we will come that later so in order to generate the pdf so we need to provide one header that is a content disposition so and if here we have to define the attachment as a pdf so we need to generate this pdf inside the browser so we are defining this uh, field inline and uh, file name as a employees.pdf so it in the browser itself it will open this okay so here we are just uh, providing like uh, this headers value content type and uh, this uh, input stream resource okay so let's create this uh, service class yeah so this is a big file but don't worry so we will explain it so first say let's control shift o in order to import all the packages okay so here we are using this uh, open pdf library so for open pdf library so we need this uh, we need this first package that is a com element. then uh, we need this io bot but array output stream input stream output stream then this logit text then logit text font then java.util.list here we are using the stream also okay that's it so simply in this uh, service layer then that is the business layer of this uh, spring boot application so simply what we are doing so we are getting this result set from this uh, employee from controller we are coming here so we are getting this result set from database and here we are just uh, doing a uh, formatting just skeleton of uh, our pdf okay so in order to format the skeleton of pdf so we need to return this data into byte array input stream okay and here we are uh, here we are creating one pdf document so this document belongs to this uh, logic text that is a so here we are creating one document and we are creating one byte array output stream so we are taking instance of uh, pdf writer that is coming from this logic text okay and uh, here we are passing this uh, byte array output stream then we are assigning some properties to document so what we need so first of all just i will show you how we can generate this 
okay so if you see here so we need this kind of pdf okay as output so what what we are looking here so we need this header value this is a header and this is a paragraph and this is a grid so this is whole our pdf document so in order to generate this we need to divide the, our document into two levels so one is a your a header layer and one is your body or paragraph layer so in the header layer so we we are mentioning one font and one paragraph so that is the employee structure so this is the header definition or uh, header title title of the document is uh, employee structure then uh, we need this we need to set alignment as a center and then document dot add this paragraph so we are creating the paragraph and assigning to document okay so now we need to create table so this is the table inside the body of the pdf so that is this is one paragraph inside the paragraph there is one table okay so what we are doing here so we are declaring table with the five columns that is id first name last name department and phone number okay and uh, we are creating here stream okay so stream is coming from java 8 okay so what we need here so stream of this and uh, for each element header title so basically we are adding the header here by using stream so here we are mentioning our uh, five columns and just we are creating this uh, pdf cell and inside this pdf cell so we are mentioning this font and this uh, header dot background color so we can assign color here so like this color then uh, we can set the alignment then we can set the border width so if you notice so there is a rectangle border here and then set phrase and uh, table dot add title okay okay so now our uh, title is done table header is also done so now let's start adding data so suppose like uh, i have this much columns like there are six columns i have to add the data so create the for loop and uh, create some properties in order to define our data okay so we have to map that data to the database also right so we are fetching this from result set that is from database and we are like uh, assigning these values into pdf document so we are creating one cell like this is a excel cell like we here we call as a pdf cell so we are creating this new pdf cell providing this id parameter then uh, we are setting the padding then uh, setting vertical alignment horizontal alignment and add cell that's it so for each column for each column we, we have to define this uh, these parameters okay so here you can see this is a gate id here this is a gate first name last name department phone number and everything is same so just we need to create the pdf cells okay so we here we have created six pdf cells in order to define all all the fields and then we are adding into table okay now this table we are adding into document okay so these are like a subset of uh, pdf document then we are sending uh, we are creating document dot close and uh, we are returning this output stream okay so that's it here we need to import this again here control shift o okay so now everything is done uh, like uh, regarding the pdf generation so we need some sample data so what we can do so this is a uh, in application class so we can feed some data to the database also so for that uh, just copy this data to our uh, entry point okay so first of all just say control shift o in order to import the packages okay so here let's say rename this file as to pdf application so this is a spring boot starter application class uh, which uh, we are implementing a command line runner in order to run this method dot run so what we are doing here so we are just auto wiring this employee repository okay because uh, we need to connect with the database and uh, fetch the or insert the data into database so this is the sample data so currently it is giving some error so what is this error so it is saying that uh, the constructor is undefined okay so in the constructor there is something wrong so go to 
employees so if you can see so we have defined id here so this id is not required okay so now come here and that's it because that that id is uh, like a uh, generate so we have defined here why that is not required so we have defined here generate value and generate type auto so it is automatically defining that value if there is no need of declaration okay so this values need to be saved to the our uh, table okay so let me show you my mysql so this is the mysql db and inside this i have this much table so i have employee data set so it will create this table also and it will copy this data this is sample data in the first run okay so now let's run this application so right click on uh, spring starter application say run as java application okay so our tomcat is started on port 8080 and our uh, jpa is also initialized so let's verify this so in order to verify go to controller class and uh, select this rest endpoint copy this so let's verify by hitting the endpoint 8080 rest it yeah so that's it so our pdf is generated and uh, it is like a it is open in line so we have mentioned in line so it is open into the browser itself so we can save this pdf here so this is the like a header that we have mentioned earlier and this is ids first name last name department and phone number so this skeleton we have defined into our service class okay so here so and uh, like this is the table where uh, we are getting data so from where it is fetching data so like uh, so if we go here yeah so this is the employee data set 01 so this way like uh, we learned about uh, how we can create the pdf file by using open pdf library and how we can export that data by using spring boot application to pdf documents using spring data jpa hibernate and mysql as a database so you can download the source code from the github so link is provided here and also in video video description so stay tuned for further sessions so in next session we are covering about the jasper pdf so stay tuned for that and thanks a lot for watching